Upon entering the shop, I find chaos. I spot Ezra Franch and frantically gesturing an omen, the demon's tail tightly coiled. I'm wary of approaching him after our little incident yesterday, instead choosing to observe from afar. I manage to catch Ezra's eye, and he throws me a sympathetic look. He's stressed, his hands full of bandages and potions. Oh, did Omen hurt himself? He mutters something quick and sharp under his breath to Omen, who then turns and stares at me with wide, sorry eyes as the witch disappears through his purple curtain. If I ask what's going on, will you give me an answer? So I was drinking water. I. The question seems to catch him by surprise. Then he looks away, lips pursed guiltily. He doesn't seem to have forgotten his outburst with me yesterday or his abrupt departure. Good. It isn't my intention to trip him with the reminder, but just as well that he remembers. Did you bring someone in who was hurt? Brown eyes snap to me almost instantly, and Omen moves as though to step between me and the entrance to Ezra's back room, then catches himself in the middle and forcibly drops his arms to his sides. He opens his mouth, stammers without speaking, then his shoulders droop in defeat. A little spark that, spark that might have caught on the bandage rolls in his hand and peters out. Yes, but, but uh, maybe you shouldn't see Elf right now. I mean... Huh? There's only two hers, and I just saw the other one. Well, I think there's three. Anyway, he licks his lips, a flick of black tongue, so eerily out of place on a face so painfully human in, in its distress. At least let Ezra see to her first. He needs some space when he works his magic. I'm sure our guest is all right. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Omen this nervous before. In the admittedly brief time we've known each other, and his fear sets me on edge. Carefully and deliberately so as not to spook him, yesterday's almost burn is still fresh in my mind. I step forward and put a hand on his arm, squeezing it gently. I'm sure I guess we'll be all right. Ezra is tending to them, after all. Omen blinks at me, then smiles and leans. Oh yeah, <laughs> then smiles and leans into my touch, visibly relaxing. He is a beacon of warmth in the cold room, yet pleasantly not burning. His power is wound tight to his core. I feel it under the glamour and the convincing illusion of fabric under my arm, but he will not let it loose. Will not let it hurt me. Yeah. Yes. Feel right. Whoever they are. Despite my gentle prod, he still presses his lips tightly together. For a moment, I fear I've caused him to clamp down again after all. But he takes a deep breath and very gently shakes me off. Tell me. Another deep breath. Omen is stealing himself for something. I can see it. I decide to back off as well, giving him some space. He shoots me a graceful glance, then hugs the items he is holding closer. When he speaks again, his voice is very soft. I can't talk Robin. <clears throat> no. So, I have something I must tell you. Tell, you tell it to me. me. Tell it to me. I'm listening. Omen smiles, though it is brief and weak, and quick to disappear like candlelight in a storm. Aww. His eyes lose focus as he begins to speak. Two years ago, I came to Lunaris. Lunaris. That is, I came to stay in Lunaris. After a, a disagreement with my sire, father, I suppose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell me about it. His eyes flicker around the room almost nervously, and I find myself straining to detect any eavesdropping presence. But there is none. Omen seems to find the same thing, because his shoulders droop again. You... you know what I am. I suppose you've all had to guess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He sighs. Your people call him Lucifer, I think. The fallen divine. The lord of hells. He's our sire. Cool. <laughs> like, cool. It takes me a moment. <laughs> it takes me a moment to process what he said. Demon lore is plentiful and easily accessible when you're a hunter. Detailed logs of their fiendish hierarchies, favorite vices to explore, patterns of their appearances. Do you think Jesus exists in this I would, world? Do you think I, I was literally, literally just Jesus? thinking that? <laughs> like, if his name is literally Lucifer, like that, that's Christian. Like that is straight Christian. Like, there's. Would Jesus be considered? I'm typing. I'm typing up a, a, a Twitter message to Chris right now. <laughs> is Jesus the CIA in? Lunaris. 
Right, Why would I ask respond. the CIA? I'm asking the writer. <laughs> because we got this is a case for the FBI. I would damn well hope I know who the Lord of Hells is. Yeah. Oh, that is uh, very nice. I'm dumb as rocks. <laughs> Alvin's brown eyes widen, his jaw going slack in surprise. The glamour truly is something, and I'm starting to wonder if he learned it from the witch behind the curtains. It is? No, it's not. I don't know why I said that. He coughs. That was sarcasm, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. That was not sarcasm. No, it was not. Something else also hits me. Our sire? Oh, we got demons. We got demons. Alman bites his lips and looks away. Then he nods curtly, eyes flicking to the door leading into the shop. Well then. Does your father know that you're here in the mortal realm? Can he find you? A terrible thought crosses my mind. The burned bodies, the hunters targeted. Oh no. No. It's just the thought. The vehemence of his denial is startling. I quickly hold up my hands for peace, but Omen isn't paying attention. He's shaking his head vigorously, trembling. No. No, no, no it's it okay. cannot be him. Him or any of his his minions. I would have known. I would have stopped him. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not catch on fire. Let's not catch this place on fire. His brown eyes light are glowing with fire up, as he's... Up, light it up, oh, don't up, light it up. up light it this up, is Ezra's up, house. Up, up. Oh, light up Ezra's house. <laughs> no, stop. Yeah, Ezra's house is probably the one place in town we don't need to light up. His brown eyes are glowing with fire as he stares at me pleadingly. Literal, simmering flames. Stop catching on fire. I can feel the fire at his core standing here, far enough away. And now that I know where it comes from, the familiarity makes sense. That's one hell of a secret to hold on to. Yeah, I get it. And who is that in the back yet? I knew I get it. He said hell. <laughs> one more. <laughs> one more. <laughs> I hate us. One more colossal fact to add to the messy little mountain of information I have been gathering since stepping foot into this mad town. What else is new by now? I believe you, Omen. Yep, go back to normal. Omen's shoulders droop in relief, and I feel something tense inside myself unclench as well. It needs not end badly. It will not. Besides, this case would have closed far faster if it were run-of-the-mill demons messing about. Right. Omen closes his eyes and says something too quiet for me to hear. Then he breathes in, breathes out, and slowly makes his way to the counter. He sets all the items in his arms down, there with such deliberateness I know he is doing so to calm his nerves. Something sneaks through still. I see a flicker of flame about his hair and an intensity to his aura. But only briefly. The pressure fades as Omen raises his head. He doesn't look at me as he speaks. I think I'll go outside for some flash ale. Cool, I'm gonna see who's in the back while you're doing that. Are you sure? Omen smiles at me over his shoulder, the curve of his mouth tense. I think it's for the best. I'm... I don't want <clears> her <throat> to see me like this. Rattled, angry. She's my dear sister. She doesn't deserve... He trails off, staring in the distance for a moment. Then he shakes his head and makes for the door, only adding one last thing before he steps outside. Won't you say, go and say hello to her? I'm sure Elaine would find you lovely. I'm ready to meet Elaine. I'm excited. Oh, she's cute! The second I lay my eyes on her, it's more than a little obvious that she truly is related to Omen. Maybe even his twin, unless the glamour is simply fooling me. I like her outfit. Ezra has a poultice carefully pressing to her dainty hand, a pile of gauze covered in a thick black ichor discarded upon the counter by his side. She blinks at me once, twice, her eyes big, brown, and every bit as earnest as omens. Oh my gosh, I have to do another oh, voice. voice. I already do the, I'm already doing the French. Um, and well, she, hers also has to be sister. French, because they're related. They're related, it's gotta be I French. I just don't know how to do a different French voice that doesn't sound like omens. Um, do you just, like, t turn the pitch pitch up? Her omens is already pitch. pretty high. Hello. Pitch it up, pitch I, it up. I know what I'm gonna do. It's, we're we're just gonna... I'm, I said hello. I yeah, said one hello. word to sell this to yeah, me. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I already. Well, I already did it. You just missed it. Sorry. Bonjour. I did miss it. Bonjour. Do you really want? I hate this. I hate you. I yeah, hate I missed. I was talking over it. Hello. Okay, it was quiet. I got it. 
Her voice is disarmingly sweet, almost musical even. I smile at her politely, looking to Ezra for a little guidance. Elaine, this is Sarah. Sarah, this is Elaine, Omen's twin sister. Ah, uh, yes. I assume Ezra was just as unaware of her existence as I am, but he's polite enough to stay calm and focused. As friendly and as hospitable as ever. Do you remember, um, Seduce Me? Yes, unfortunately I do. I, I, I was really confused for a second because I was mixing up the lore and I was like, why is it so surprising that he has a sister? Because there's like eight or whatever brothers in that one. I think there's five. I, was, I can't count. That's. <laughs> but I was mixed. <laughs> I was mixing up the lore, so I was like, oh, of course, I mean, it's, it's Satan, he's got all these kids, it's normal, and I'm like, oh, this is a different lore, <laughs> this might not have that many kids, or maybe he does, I don't know, I haven't gotten there yet. It's nice to meet you, Elaine. Oh, um, you too. I love this hair color. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Emily narrows her eyes at me for a brief moment, shaking her head. She looks terrified. She addresses Ezra, but she certainly keeps her eyes on me, on my weapon. I... Where is Amokos? He went outside. I look at Ezra, my confusion quite evident. Amoros? Uh, yes. That. Her face lights up when I say his name, but I gather that she doesn't fully understand my trepidation. Ezra turns to address the demon, patting her hand gently. He's just outside, and you're all healed, healed up. But I do think you should go and see your brother now, Elaine. I... okay. Yes. Yes, I should. All right, peace out. Ezra releases her, throwing me a sorry look over his shoulder as he turns to quickly dispose of the mess of medical supplies. It was lovely to meet you, Sarah. You don't even know what I am, or who I am, or where I came from. Her demeanor is delightful, elegant, and I'm still slowly processing exactly what her brother just told me. Yes, you too. She glances at me briefly before shyly averting her gaze, turning to meekly part the curtains that lead into the shop. Ah, there he is. The second she's gone, a tall, pale figure bursts through the back door. I don't know either. He looks shocked to see me, but quickly recovers. I is she healed? Just make up. I'm just doing yeah, it. works. Oh, yeah, this is me as well, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> she's fine, and she's with her br her brother. I suggest you give them, give them space for the time being. I'm stuttering through it, dude. Are they in I'm love? Doing it. Are they in love? Ezra's words are final, stern, and Amoros quickly wilts under his vibrant green gaze, still lightly glowing from whatever magic he's just performed. I don't really know how to unpack all of this, but... What happened to her, and why are you so desperate to be by her side? It's love, you Sarah! Really, why are you being so Your character weird? cannot read the room to save her life. I can't! I'm so dumb! God, it's painful. He stares longingly at the curtain, Elaine's voice quiet on the other side. Then I remember the note. Yeah, duh. I remembered that in real life. Then I remember the note on the stoop of the eye back, the little heart. Is this is words. Ah. Ah. Well, I'm courting her, you see. <laughs> We're t t together. <gasps> That's cute. The little stutter is cute. Our rose. She was attacked last night by it. The one that's been getting to your kind, I think. So she's just been, like, topside, like, in Lunaris for a while? Ezra and I share a look, doing little to hide our shock. It? As in, the creature? Armoris closes his eyes, sighing heavily. Then he nods. Y yes Armoros, if you need to tell us something, we can help. Elaine didn't need to get hurt, so if you know what this thing is... He looks at me, then back at Ezra, throat bobbing as he swallows thickly. Armoros, we can end this game right now. <laughs> He's quite clearly battling with the idea of divulging any more information. Mm, encourage him. He seems like he needs a gentle touch. Armoros, it's okay, you can trust us. 
We just want to help. She's right. No one will know what you tell us. We just want people to be safe. Yep. He sighs again, his shoulders sinking. I just want her to be safe. Yeah, it's love, baby. We can see you care for her a great deal, and we want that too. His ice blue eyes quickly flicker between each of us, and it's the most animated I've ever seen him. Come on, spit it out. Why are you being nice to me, my sister and I? It's what I do, babe. He trails off, almost looking right through me. If you have information about the creature, we need to know. People are dying, so if I find it hard to hold your beliefs against you, if you can offer assistance. Very well. All right, all right, all right. Hit me with that. Aurora has been sneaking out late at night as of late. Uh, I mean, that's not exactly uncommon for her, but I believe she's doing more than satisfying her baser urges. <laughs> He's calling her a whore. Like, right here, right now. We don't... Ezra looks... We don't... Uh, Ezra looks away, covering a quiet cough with his hand. I'm uncomfortable using that now, using that particular slur as someone who's not a sex mm. worker. Now we don't have time to unpack all of that. <laughs> we don't have time to unpack all of that. <laughs> but I'll store it away for later. What do you suspect? I suspect nothing. I know she's feeding it. Or something, at least. Mm. Fe- f- feeding it? Mm-hmm. He seems unfazed, startlingly so. She may seem cruel and cold, but Aurora mm-hmm. does a good heart. She cares for the creatures, make sure they're safe. I would that that wasn't what <laughs> Okay. That wasn't why we were surprised. Like enough. that wasn't that wasn't why I was yeah. shocked. <laughs> Can you maybe elaborate <laughs> Can you maybe elaborate a little on that first? He shrugs, sighing again. It is what it is. I don't dictate to her what she can and cannot do. I find myself losing interest in our preachings. I just want to keep Elaine safe now. Okay, I you you are very disconnected from reality if you're not, like, bothered by the idea that she's feeding something that, like, eats and kills. Like, it sounds like you have, like, a pet, like, murder beast and you don't I, I care. I do have a pet murder beast and Armorous doesn't give a shit. It's like, yeah, pet he's like it's not mine, it's my sister's. Like, it doesn't count. Like, <laughs> She cares about animals, you see. No! Not how it works. Ideally, we'll leave this wretched place for good, but her and Omen have only just reunited and would she be so quick to leave him? Maybe not. I think it's best for both of you to stay here and lay low. I'm not sure why the creature attacked her. It hasn't attacked anything inhuman so far. He looks at me, fixes my gaze, and with perfect confidence... How do you know? (gasps) He's got a point. A chill rose along my spine, but I shake it off. You're right, I don't. I'd really like to leave now. Alright, get out of here then. You can leave, but I need you to promise me something. He narrows his gaze, his head tilted. Go on. Watch Aurora, and the second you see her do anything out of the ordinary, you find me. I will ensure Elaine is safe, I swear to you, but your compliance is essential here. I see Ezra shifting nervously out of the corner of my eyes, but I stand my ground. Armoros continues to assess me, calmer than he's ever appeared. Fine. I will seek you out, and I will watch my sister. Right. Good, 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 good. Farewell, Hunter. Which? Human. (laughs) Well, that was interesting. That was painful. I anticipated some commotion from behind the curtains, but I hear nothing but silence. Interesting is putting it lightly. How are you, anyway? (sighs) You know, I'm glad you asked. I have a quick laugh, because that question feels far too casual for the amount of information I've digested in the last forever. Tired, confused, the usual. I suppose I haven't done much to help with that. Haven't done much to help with that. I don't know. I don't know that it was your job. I wanted to apologize for not being totally honest with you and for making your life a little harder than necessary. You already have so much on your plate. That's true about me. He seems genuine, and aside from his odd behavior yesterday, I have no reason not to trust Ezra. 
I spoke to August last night and Piper this morning. They know about the sash. Fear flashes across his features, but I quickly reassure him. It's fine, Ezra. They're on our side. They want to help. Even Gus? Yeah, even Gus. Yes, even August. Are you sure that you're not a magic? Because that seems like an impossible task. I have the power of seduction. Oh, there it goes. No magic here. His smile grows and he seems to relax exponentially. It's nice to see. Familiar. Then, let's talk. 